In the hidden corners of our planet, some of nature's most dangerous predators lurk. Their venom so powerful, it can stop a heart. Paralyze a creature in its tracks or cause excruciating pain in an instant. From the venomous snakes that strike with deadly precision to the small but highly toxic creatures that hide in plain sight. The oceans and land are home to some of the deadliest creatures on Earth. Equipped with venom so potent, it can quickly turn a peaceful moment into a life or death struggle. These predators are not only a force to be reckoned with, they also play a vital role in their ecosystems, keeping populations in balance and ecosystems in check. But what makes their venom so dangerous? How do they use it to survive, hunt, and defend themselves? And what secrets could their venom hold for science and medicine? In this video, we'll explore the fascinating and often deadly world of venomous creatures, uncovering the science behind their incredible abilities and the dangers they present to both prey and humans. Join us as we journey into the realm of nature's most toxic and deadly inhabitants. The Gila monster is a venomous lizard native to the deserts of the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. It's one of the only venomous lizards in the world, but it's not as dangerous as its reputation might suggest. Gila monsters are slow moving and spend most of their time hidden in burrows, coming out mainly during the early morning or evening. These lizards are pretty easy to recognize with their chunky bodies, beaded scales, and bright orange, yellow, or pink markings on black. They grow to about two feet long and are built for tough desert life. Their venom is delivered through grooved teeth in their lower jaw. Unlike snakes, they don't inject it with fangs, but chew to let the venom seep in. It's mostly used for defense, causing pain and swelling but it's not usually life-threatening to humans. Gila monsters feed on eggs, small animals, and even carrion, using their powerful jaws to crush food. Despite their intimidating look, they play an important role in their ecosystem by keeping prey populations in check. Interestingly, their venom has helped scientists create treatments for diabetes, proving that even the scariest creatures can benefit humanity. These lizards are protected by law, so spotting one in the wild is a rare treat. The pufferfish, also known as the blowfish, is a fascinating marine creature found in tropical and subtropical waters around the world. Known for its unique defense mechanism, it can inflate itself into a spiky ball when threatened, deterring predators from attacking. This dramatic transformation is made possible by its highly elastic stomach, which rapidly fills with water or air. While its defense mechanism is impressive, what makes the pufferfish truly notorious is its venom. Many species contain a toxin called tetrodotoxin, which is up to 1,200 times more potent than cyanide. This deadly substance is found in their organs, skin, and sometimes their muscles, making them one of the most toxic creatures in the ocean. Despite this, puffer fish are considered a delicacy in Japan, where they are prepared as fugu. Only highly trained and licensed chefs are allowed to serve it, as even a small mistake in preparation can be fatal. Puffer fish are relatively small, typically measuring between six inches and two feet long, and they have a variety of colors and patterns that help them blend into coral reefs and rocky seabeds. They feed on algae, invertebrates, and sometimes even small crustaceans, using their sharp beak-like teeth to crack shells. Despite their dangerous reputation, 
Puffer fish are a vital part of marine ecosystems, contributing to the health of coral reefs by controlling algae growth. Their unique combination of defense strategies and toxic chemistry makes them one of the ocean's most intriguing inhabitants. The Brazilian wandering spider, also known as the banana spider, is one of the most venomous spiders in the world. Found in the tropical forests of South and Central America, it's called wandering because it doesn't build webs to catch prey. Instead, it roams the forest floor at night, hunting insects, small animals, and even other spiders. During the day, it often hides in dark, secluded places, like under logs or inside banana bunches, giving it its other common name. This spider is relatively large, with a leg span of up to five inches, and has a menacing appearance with hairy legs and a fast, aggressive movement. Its venom is a potent neurotoxin that can cause extreme pain, muscle paralysis, and in severe cases, death. It's so powerful that a bite from this spider is considered a medical emergency. However, bites are rare, and fatalities are even rarer, thanks to the availability of anti-venom. Interestingly, the venom of the Brazilian wandering spider has also been studied for its potential medical benefits. Scientists are investigating its use in treating erectile dysfunction and other medical conditions. Despite its fearsome reputation, this spider plays an important role in controlling insect populations in its habitat. While it's not a creature you'd want to encounter unexpectedly, it's an essential part of the ecosystem and a fascinating example of nature's ingenuity. The Deathstalker scorpion is one of the most dangerous scorpions in the world. Found in desert and arid regions across North Africa and the Middle East, this small but highly venomous scorpion has earned its fearsome name for a good reason. Measuring about two to three inches long, the Deathstalker has a slender body and pincers, typically yellow with a translucent appearance. Its venom is a potent cocktail of neurotoxins that can cause intense pain, fever, convulsions, and even paralysis. While a sting can be fatal for young children, the elderly, or those with compromised immune systems, anti-venom is widely available, significantly reducing fatalities. This scorpion is a nocturnal predator, using its venom to subdue prey like insects and spiders. It relies on its pincers to grasp and manipulate its prey, but the venom-filled sting is its primary weapon. Despite its deadly reputation, the venom of the Deathstalker has remarkable medical potential. Researchers are studying its compounds for use in treating brain tumors, diabetes, and other diseases. In its desert habitat, the Deathstalker plays a crucial role in controlling pest populations. While its sting is dangerous, it's not an aggressive species and will typically sting humans only if provoked or threatened. Respecting its space in the wild is key to avoiding any close encounters with this remarkable and highly specialized predator. The King Cobra is the world's longest venomous snake, capable of growing up to 18 feet. Found in forests, grasslands, and swamps across Southeast Asia and India, this snake is as fascinating as it is intimidating. Known for its iconic hood and upright posture when threatened, the King Cobra has a reputation for being highly intelligent and aware of its surroundings. What truly sets the King Cobra apart is its venom. While not the most toxic among snakes, it delivers a large amount of venom in a single bite, enough to kill an elephant or up to 20 humans. The venom is primarily neurotoxic, targeting the victim's nervous system and causing paralysis. Fortunately, bites to humans are rare, as the king cobra generally avoids confrontation and only attacks when it feels threatened or cornered. Unlike most snakes, the king cobra has unique behaviors that make it stand out. It's known for its nesting instincts. Females build nests out of leaves and debris to lay their eggs and guard them until they hatch. This level of parental care is rare among reptiles. Despite its fearsome reputation, 
The king cobra plays a vital role in maintaining the balance of its ecosystem. It preys on other snakes, including venomous ones, and helps control their populations. Protected in many parts of its range, this majestic snake is a symbol of power and respect in many cultures, embodying both danger and beauty in the wild. The stonefish is considered the most venomous fish in the world. Found in the coastal regions of the Indo-Pacific, it's a master of disguise, blending seamlessly with its surroundings. Its rough, bumpy appearance, which resembles a rock or coral, makes it nearly impossible to spot. This camouflage helps it avoid predators while waiting for unsuspecting prey to pass by. The stonefish's venom is stored in spines on its dorsal fin. If stepped on or threatened, the spines inject venom, which causes excruciating pain, swelling, and sometimes paralysis. In severe cases, the venom can lead to respiratory failure and death, especially if not treated promptly. Despite its venomous nature, the stonefish is relatively passive and will only sting in self-defense. Stonefish are opportunistic feeders, preying on small fish, crustaceans, and invertebrates that come too close. They use their sharp teeth to grab and swallow their prey whole. The venom serves both as a defense and as a way to immobilize prey before consumption. Although the stonefish is dangerous, it's also an important part of the ecosystem. It helps control populations of smaller marine animals, maintaining the balance of its coastal habitat. Anti-venom is available for stonefish stings, and with immediate medical treatment, most victims recover. Still, it's a reminder of how well adapted some creatures are to their environments and the hidden dangers of the ocean floor. The blue-ringed octopus is a small but incredibly venomous creature found in the waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Despite its size, typically only about the size of a golf ball, it has earned a fearsome reputation. Its most striking feature is its vibrant blue rings, which appear when it feels threatened or stressed. These rings act as a warning to predators, signaling the presence of venom that can be fatal. This octopus's venom contains tetrodotoxin, a potent neurotoxin that can paralyze its victim and cause death within hours if not treated. While it's deadly to humans, bites are rare, as the blue-ringed octopus is generally shy and will only bite when provoked. Its small size and camouflage abilities allow it to blend into its surroundings, often hiding in crevices or under rocks. It primarily feeds on crustaceans and small fish, using its venom to immobilize prey before consuming it. The blue-ringed octopus doesn't actively seek out confrontation with humans, but its venom makes it one of the most dangerous creatures in the ocean. Fortunately, there is no known anti-venom, but with prompt medical attention, victims can survive. Its venom has been studied for potential uses in pain management and other medical applications, showcasing the unique duality of this creature, both deadly and potentially life-saving in the right hands. Though its beauty and danger make it a captivating creature, the blue-ringed octopus serves as a reminder of the ocean's hidden, lethal wonders. The cone snail is a fascinating yet deadly marine creature found in tropical and subtropical seas. With its elegant cone-shaped shell, this snail looks harmless, but beneath its beautiful exterior lies one of the most potent venoms in the animal kingdom. There are over 500 species of cone snails, but the most dangerous is the geographic cone snail, Conus geographus. These snails are carnivorous predators, using a harpoon-like tooth to inject venom into their prey, which usually includes small fish and marine worms. The venom contains a powerful mix of toxins called conotoxins, which attack the nervous system. The snail delivers the venom through its tooth with incredible precision, paralyzing and killing its prey in seconds. This venom is not just deadly to their prey, it can be lethal to humans as well. 
A sting from a geographic cone snail can cause paralysis and respiratory failure. Although fatalities are rare, there is no antivenom, and the sting can be fatal if not treated promptly. Despite its dangerous reputation, the cone snail plays an important role in its ecosystem, helping control populations of other marine creatures. Interestingly, scientists are researching the venom of cone snails for potential medical uses, including painkillers that could be more effective than traditional opioids. The cone snail is a reminder of the incredible diversity of the ocean and how beauty can often conceal lethal power. Though a threat to humans, its venom has inspired valuable advances in medicine, showing how even the most dangerous creatures can contribute to scientific progress. The inland taipan, also known as the fierce snake, is widely regarded as the most venomous snake in the world. Native to the arid regions of Central Australia, it prefers remote, inaccessible areas, which is why it rarely comes into contact with humans. Despite its fearsome reputation, the inland Taipan is incredibly shy and reclusive, making it unlikely to attack unless provoked. What truly sets this snake apart is its venom. The inland Taipan's venom is so potent that a single bite can deliver enough toxins to kill up to 100 adult humans. It contains a complex mix of neurotoxins and myotoxins, which attack the nervous system, leading to paralysis and the muscles, causing severe damage. If left untreated, the venom can cause death within hours, but thanks to the development of antivenom, fatalities from its bite are rare. The inland taipan is a relatively small snake, growing up to about eight feet long, and it has a slender body, which allows it to move swiftly through its desert habitat. Its diet consists mainly of small mammals, particularly rodents, which it hunts with impressive speed. The snake delivers its venom through long fangs, injecting the lethal substance into its prey with precision. Although it's not aggressive and rarely encountered, the inland taipan remains one of the most dangerous animals on Earth, not just because of its venom, but also because of how well it's adapted to survive in one of the harshest environments on the planet. Its reclusive nature, combined with the sheer potency of its venom, makes it an iconic example of the incredible extremes found in nature. The box jellyfish is one of the most venomous creatures in the world, and it's found in the warm coastal waters of the Indo-Pacific region, particularly around northern Australia. Despite its delicate appearance, with its translucent cube-shaped bell and long trailing tentacles, this jellyfish is a formidable predator and a serious threat to humans. The box jellyfish's venom is incredibly powerful, and just a single sting can cause excruciating pain and potentially be fatal. Its tentacles contain thousands of tiny harpoon-like cells called nematocysts, which release toxins that can attack the heart, nervous system, and skin cells. The venom works rapidly, causing symptoms such as intense pain, paralysis, and heart failure. Without immediate medical attention, death can occur within minutes due to cardiac arrest. Box jellyfish are primarily carnivorous, feeding on small fish and invertebrates. They use their venom to immobilize and capture prey before consuming it. Despite their deadly venom, box jellyfish are not aggressive and will typically only sting if they feel threatened or are accidentally touched. They are highly skilled swimmers, using their bell to pulse through the water, and they can move quickly in short bursts. Though terrifying, box jellyfish play an important role in their ecosystem helping maintain the balance of marine life by preying on smaller animals. Despite the dangers they pose, there is ongoing research to better understand their venom and find potential medical applications. Their beauty and lethality make the box jellyfish a remarkable, if dangerous, part of the ocean's hidden wonders.